everybody. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Today I want to do a fairly quick video, short video, for people who are looking at the Fisker's axes and maybe worried about how good they are if there's a problem with the edge rolling and things like that. I have seen quite a few reviews on the bigger selling platforms where people have complained about the edge rolling and chipping and I want to show how you can avoid that. It's very simple. I have quite a few of these axes and I have never experienced that issue with a little bit of preventive maintenance. Okay, so this is for this video is definitely aimed for the new axe owner. Most of you that are experienced already know what the issue is and know how to fix that. Let's dive right in here. I'm going to keep this very simple and try and keep it very short. Essentially, when you get your new Fiskars axe, I doubt my camera will pick this up. The edge is going to be very sharp. It looks something like this. This is basically a flat grind and it is very susceptible to rolling if you are cutting into hardwood, knotted wood, pine wood with pitch resin in it. That edge does not hold up over under uh, heavy use. It's very sharp and it's very good for certain things. You're cutting into green wood or clean wood, but any abuse and because of the, how thin it is and the lack of support, it will roll. And if you continue to use it, once it starts to roll, you can actually chip chunks of metal out. So what we want to do is very simple. We just need to reprofile the edge with a small secondary bevel. So, how do you do that? It's very simple. The tools you will need are basically just a sharpener. This is a 10 to $15 DMT diamond card. I've got it laminated on a piece of wood, but you can carry this in a wallet or whatever. Works very, very well. That'll work just fine. I've also got one of these work sharp field sharpening tools and uh, this works very very well about twenty twenty five dollars and if you don't have that you can simply use a piece of wood with some sandpaper attached to it this is probably four hundred or six hundred grit the main thing is you don't need to spend a lot of money it's and it's not difficult to do this all right so let's go ahead and walk through the steps of how to reprofile the edge of your Fisker's axe. Okay, before we get started, I just like to show what my experience level is with owning and using the Fisker's axe. It's not just one or two. I have quite a few of these, as you can see. Some of them have been used more than others, but the main thing is that I've had zero issues with these axes once I reprofile the edge. Okay, let's get into the meat of this. This is the Fiskars N10, the half wood handle. It's a fairly new axe to me. And I reprofiled the edge last time I took it out, testing it out, seeing how well the handle fitment is. But, anyways, this isn't a review. But you can see the edge is clean. There's no nicks or rolls or dents or anything like that. This is a brand new Fiskars N7. Just a smaller model of that. Nice little hatchet. And you can see that the there is no wear on it because I haven't used it yet. So this one needs to be reprofiled before I take it out. Okay. Now to do this, I'm going to use what I normally carry with me almost everywhere. Just this little DMT pocket card. First thing I'm going to do is get a little bit of water on here. I just I like to have a little bit of water on there. You don't have to though. You can use it dry. Now this is going to seem a little bit weird because this is a fairly sharp axe from the factory. But what I normally do is get rid of that edge. Now all we need to do is come back, find the bevel that, it, that the factory edge is at and then I lift up about halfway. 
okay there's the factory bevel you can kind of feel it rocking on there and lift it up about halfway and run a couple passes it doesn't take a whole lot now we'll flip it over and see if you can see just a slight amount of wear on the edge now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side get a little more water on there and we will find the factory bevel lift up some people might criticize this method saying you need to get a tool honestly for making campfire wood I'm not that worried about it now just like the picture that I showed you knock the top off and then we're bringing bringing an edge back and yeah that's that's really sharp that's that's almost shaving sharp again that's it that's all you need to do now let's see before I get going you can see the little shiny spot there that's that's where I've reworked the edge same thing on the other side that's it but just like the picture I showed okay so just like the picture we've taken a very very pointed flat grind we knocked the edge back and then we basically put a secondary bevel on there it's more stable it's more robust and you shouldn't have any issues if you do get an issue you can do the same thing again knock the edge back and reprofile it So if you do use the work sharp with the ceramic and the little leather strop on there, you can get this very, very sharp very, very quickly. Hopefully that's coming out there. It's pretty much shaving sharp within minutes. All right, so what I've hoped to show is that with just a few minutes of preventive maintenance basically you should have no issues with the edge of this axe brand new Fiskars rolling and then chipping if you continue to use it I showed you I have a fairly large collection of these Fiskars and I've never had an issue with them some of them have been used more than others but I've, I've never had an issue with the, with the edge rolling on any of them and you can see there we really didn't upset the edge too much, just enough to give it a little more stability under hard use. All right, so I hope this video has been useful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. I try and respond to those as often as possible. I do get a fair amount of questions, but I try to get back to those as, as much as possible. And leave a comment, leave a suggestion. Constructive criticism is always welcome. That is how we learn. And until next time, get out there, stay safe, and have fun. See ya.